A key feature of Gateway is the attention to study skills, with the aim being to help students become more efficient learners. Let's see an example of a study skills box from Gateway B1, Unit 10. The students have just finished reading a text about companies that sell essays to students on the internet. They've done all the main comprehension exercises and are just about to start an exercise that focuses on vocabulary from the text. Now, if we look at the next exercise, uh, you've noticed that in the text that we've read, there are some words which are underlined. They have a red underlining. And what I want you to do is, looking at the word where it appears in the sentence, look at the words before it, the words after, think about the meaning, try and decide then what type of word do you think each one is and what could the meaning be? Okay? If you're right or if you're wrong, it doesn't really matter. The idea is to try and guess from the context to try and think more or less what do you think the word means. Okay. Yeah? Great. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so most people I think you've finished. Um, personalised. What does it mean? If it's a personalised essay, what does it mean? Something like you want. You and everybody or you? You, only you. Only you, exactly, yeah. So if it's personalised, it's for you and only for you. So if the personalised essay means that you're the only person who wants it or needs it and they make it specially for you. Yeah, great. Um, owner, what type of word is it? A noun. A noun, and is it a person or a thing? A person. How do you know? Because he's speaking about a, a person. Yeah. About like little word. I, 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 yeah, perfect, because it says Barclay Littlewood is the owner, so it's a noun, and because of the context, we know it is a person. And the meaning, you would say, is? Uh, the boss of the, the company. Yeah, great. Um, punishing. Jaime, did you have an answer for, for punishing? Uh, a verb. It's a verb, yeah. yeah. And punishing means? Uh, the action that they've received for do that. Yeah, for doing something good or for doing something bad? For doing something bad. Exactly. It's the action that you receive for doing something that you shouldn't do. Yeah? Can you think of a time in school when you get punished? Not you, because you're a very good student. <laughs> but if you're a, a young student, what might you get punished for? Not doing your homework. Not doing your homework, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Right, now, you've done that really, really well, and you did it without a dictionary. Okay, there's a little question here, is why is it important and useful to guess difficult words from the context? Well, why is it useful to do that? Why is it important to be able to do it? Because if you are in an exam, you can look to the dictionary and Absolutely. you have to know yeah. the word. Yeah, um, sometimes you have a dictionary with you, but many times you don't. And in an exam, you don't have a dictionary with you. So if you practice learning to deduce the words, to think about what the word means without a dictionary, and just by looking at the words before and after, they can help you to get a good idea of what the word possibly means, yeah? Great. Uh, the study skills boxes contain questions to help students reflect on different approaches to learning grammar, vocabulary, and pronunciation, or different ways of going about skills work. The questions encourage the students to think and be actively involved in working out the answers so they become more efficient and more autonomous learners. In my experience, students don't always think about these strategies or study skills in their own language, so what they learn in English may well be applicable to other subjects they're studying. The position of the study skills boxes is in the most logical place to get the most out of the advice. But since the boxes aren't numbered, you're free to move them around and do them either before or after the corresponding task itself, or not do them at all if you feel your students don't need this help. As with exam success tips, at the back of the book, all the study skills tips are collected together, so students have a useful reference section there, which allows them to work independently. You can decide whether you want to send the students to the back of the book to check their answers during the lesson, or whether you just give immediate feedback yourself which is what I did in this lesson.